Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Double Down Reviews. I'm Tyler. I'm Tim. And today we're going to be reviewing Hot Toys Joker from Arkham Asylum. There he is. Clown Prince of Crime. He's beautiful. Uh, <laughs> it's a mori. Uh, let's talk about packaging. Take a look at the packaging first. Uh, I believe this one has a window in it. You can actually open up, uh, similar to the Arkham City Batman. Uh, has like the open window. Is that like magnetized over here? Yep. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> you got the picture of Joker on the front. Yep. Arkham Asylum logo from the video game. Open it up. You got the beautiful purple and green colors. You got some uh, credits on the inside here. And if you flip it around the back. He's got some more credits, some choking hazards, not to give it to like two-year-olds. <laughs> Picture of the Joker, logo on top with ha-ha's all over the place. That's the packaging. There we go. And then, um, inside just came with standard Hot Toys cradle, hold all the accessories, a couple extra hands, figure, gun, all that good stuff. But, let's talk about it. On to the figure. Woo! Drop it. Right. I did not realize that I could actually move this before. You learn something every day. <laughs> Look at that. That's wanky fool. Uh, yeah. this, okay, let's talk about it. Let's talk uh, about it. This Joker. Pros and cons. What do you got? Cons for this figure? I would say the head sculpt is really good. It's very good. Um, it's just I, like the game. My good one downfall with it was... I feel like his hair is more so like a faux hawk than it is like slicked back. His his like slicked back kind of messy. You know, it's it, it still looks great. It looks like the game. I just felt like in the game it was more pushed back than up. But that I mean, that's the one thing that I guess I can complain about. Basically, don't this. buy this figure. Thanks for watching. <laughs> No, it's a, it's a good figure. It looks really good, and the paint job is great, as always. The tailoring is spot on. Yeah, the tailoring is really good. It's a little yeah. suit for his little skinny body. You know, the uh, the the blood on his vest is a really nice little detail that they threw in there. His flower. Um, his belt buckle. Yep, his little... His actual little joker face on his belt buckle. <laughs> yep. I'll show you a close-up of that. He's got his little spats on his boots. He's got his handcuffs, his bow tie, all that good stuff. Um... The jacket is a little restricting in the sense that it has the leather up on top, so it kind of pulls when you... So just the shoulders are restricted yeah, a little? Yeah, it, it's a little tight on the shoulders. I mean, you can't, you know... Is that like, move fine? Well, I guess he can hold his face. <laughs> um, yeah, what did you say? Uh, elbows move fine. Yeah, elbows move fine. So it's really just this leather patch up here. <clears throat> it's also the fact that he's so lanky and thin that um, if you were to try to pose him in a certain way and you kind of, like, moved one leg... His pants are gonna lift up, and then you can see that the Joker's just got little baby skinny legs. <laughs> um, fits. He's a skinny little man. Oh my god, they're really skinny. They're really skinny. <laughs> they're Bruce, little pencil pants. Yeah, Bruce Banner had the same problem. <laughs> he has little skinny legs too? Yeah, he's a little skinny guy. Just, just like Mark Ruffalo in real life. Yep. <laughs> just kidding, Mark. Sorry, Mark, if you're watching. Um, you're fantastic. Decent amount of accessories, nothing crazy. Uh, he came with the laughing chatter teeth from Arkham Asylum. He's got some dynamite sticks in there. Little shattering bomb. He also has the Titan gun. A little to injector. inject it. And he came with three. I can't, I'm not going to hold this up to the camera because yeah. you can barely see we'll it. It's so stuff. small. But uh, he came with three different like syringe tips for the Titan antidote virus. Basically, they're just uh, darts for the Titan gun. Yeah, shoot people so they get the tugging thing. I uh, came with his revolver, a couple extra hands, a uh, relaxed open hand and two fists, as well as his uh, gun hand and another open hand. You can take the handcuffs off of his wrist, just remove the hand. He also has his crazy squeery-eyed glasses. <laughs> Googly eyed glasses, x ray goggles, or whatever. Yep, sees right through Batman's spandex. Oh my god. Whoa. Right into his back cave. <laughs> <laughs> like, do they open, or do you have to take the wrist off? You have to take the wrist off. It's hot toys just getting chintzy on us. Yeah. I don't think they open. I mean, maybe. I didn't know that thing turned. Don't break it. <laughs> <laughs> 
No, they, they do not open. Uh, which is funny because I remember in the old quarter machines when we were kids, you could buy the little handcuffs that could open and close. So. 25 cents, Hot Toys. We yeah. were getting working 25 handcuffs. 25 cents and working you, handcuffs. You gypped us. And you gypped me on a $240 toy. <laughs> uh, okay, let's look at articulation on this guy. You know, we kind of did a little overview here. You got full ankle articulation. Look at that thing rock. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. So many poses. He's ready to dance. We got, look at this. Look at this knee pose here. Knee articulation. Forward and back. That's the the leg soccer yeah. kick He's movement. Kicking. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Forward and back on that waist articulation. See if a mid torso. He does. Yeah, slight mid torso in there. The vest might be a little tight and restricting that, but well, they also I noticed. Um, I think just to keep the the figure's iconic look of the tight fitting clothes. I noticed that they actually stitched his jacket to his vest, oh, so, so that might like stick out. Yeah, so that might that might restrict a little bit. That's actually good because sometimes I agree because layering it, clothes it keeps, makes things pat. It keeps weird. it just tight to his body, yeah. how you would expect the Joker to look and not be like all bulky. Yeah, especially with his body being so skinny because it's not a normal Hot Toys body no. that they use for this. It's really thin. Probably just a couple like matchsticks glued together. Yeah, uh, <laughs> it's like popsicle <laughs> sticks. <It's> like. <laughs> Uh, wrists swivel and pop off on the pegs, uh, elbow bends like that, and down. Shoulder can go, they can go up to about there with the restricting in the jacket. Forward and back. Uh, and then the head, complete spin, and it goes, the head and neck are all one piece down into the shirt. No alternate head sculpt, laughing or anything, unfortunately, but the one you did get is awesome. And you can get plenty of poses out of this guy with all his accessories. I was hoping that it was gonna they were gonna unveil a separate head sculpt that would have been, you know, like maniacal joker laughter. Yeah. Like, just like big wide mouth and I thought it'd be a fun way to pose him if you had the Batman figure with it, just kinda like him laughing in Batman's face. But I guess a subtle smile would have to do. Remember Batman eighty nine? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all around great figure. Looks really good. Measures. Um, measure him up. I think how tall he, he is. He should be a little taller than. <laughs> uh, twelve and yeah, a half. He's a little twelve and a half, a little over twelve and a half inches with his hair. Yeah. <laughs> um. Oh yeah, Mark Hamill voices him in the game. Amazing. The best Joker. Yeah, Mark Hamill. Any voice from the Killing Joke, and pretty much everything else that is worth mentioning for the Joker. Yeah. We'll probably also be doing a review of the Kevin or the Kevin <laughs> the Kevin Conroy, the Kevin Costner Batman. The, no, that'd be like the most boring Batman. Uh, yeah, the Arkham Asylum the Batman, Arkham, which we also Arkham have. City so. Batman. Arkham City Bat. Really, Arkham City and Arkham City. Weird that they did two different games. Well, I think Whatever. if they're they really not that different in that one. So. Well, if they're gonna do a Joker. Based off Arkham City, it was like you said, he would have to be old and wheezy and all that, because he... We'll flash spoilers on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> blark, blark, blark. But, uh, yeah, we'll probably be reviewing him, and we'll uh, compare the two together. we we'll do a little comparison. Um, How much was this guy, you said? 240? 234? 240? Something like that? Not I think bad. it was 234. 234. Uh, not bad, not You think bad. you can still find this guy? Or I think he's sold out now. You can look, you can check. Big Bad Toy Store, yeah, local comic Big shops, yeah, uh, uh, Sideshow Toys, check their website. Let us know what you guys think. If you want us to throw some other stuff on there or review other things, uh, just let us know. Throw us a like, subscribe, share us, do whatever the hell you want to do. Yep. And remember, madness is the emergency exit.